Okay, so I'm doing something a little bit different today. And this isn't going to be a regular thing. I normally don't do fix it tip type videos. But I've noticed this problem with a lot of people online. I've noticed not a lot of people have done fixes for this. And I had learned the hard way how to fix this issue. So I decided to let as many of you know how I got this problem solved. I don't normally do fix it videos with PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. If you're interested in more videos like that, I would check out uh, John Glasscock on uh, YouTube. Uh, put his name down below. Uh, he does a lot of fix it videos with. Um, tips and tricks and what not to do and things to do with PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. He gets to the point, his videos are super short typically, and so give him a check out if you haven't seen him yet. Uh, I use him all the time for just common sense things to do with your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. But there is a serious problem with Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the PlayStation 5. And I'm going to tell you about that, but first I need to establish uh, the issue I'm having and also something you need to avoid because I unfortunately didn't and I have learned the hard way. So first off, the problem. The problem is on the PlayStation 5, you install Call of Duty Modern Warfare and um, it has that stupid thing Activision started doing where instead of you know, doing that silly little thing of putting the actual game on a disc, they instead put a little shitty one level demo and then expect you to install the real game in data packs offline. They started with Call of Duty Modern Warfare in 2019 and then they continued this bullshit nonsense with Black Ops Cold War in 2020. Okay, um, Activision would you freaking stop with that please put your game on a disc okay we don't care if you have 27 discs we hate these stupid damn data packs stop it stop it okay just, just stop but since we're stuck with these damn data packs we gotta deal with the problems and on Call of Duty Modern Warfare for the PlayStation 4, when you're doing it backwards compatible on PlayStation 5, you try installing it and you try installing those stupid data packs, guess what? They just automatically start uninstalling as you're installing more and more. So you can never have the full game on your system because by the time you're done installing the campaign, the spec ops section of the game has been uninstalled without your knowledge or decision of wanting to do that. By the time you get that installed, the multiplayer aspect has uninstalled. You know, typically when I get a game, I would like all the content to be there at my beck and call. All right, I don't want it to just uninstall piece by piece as I'm trying to get more of it installed. So, I naively thought I'll just uninstall it and reinstall it. it. Must be an issue there. You know, logical person would do that, have done that, and it's worked before in the past. And I did that, and I noticed my problems got even worse. Well, that's because there is a bug on the PlayStation 5 where if you just uninstall this game through the main PlayStation 5 menu, it puts a bug in that makes the game impossible to truly install after that. There's only two ways you can get rid of this bug. One is to install the game on a PlayStation 4, get all those stupid damn ridiculous data packs onto it, take it off the flash drive or a external hard drive, and then put it in your PS5 and transfer it over that way. That's the first method. Great if you have a PS4. Not great. For those people that sold their PS4 after getting a PS5. Then there's the second option, which apparently is the simple act of completely resetting your console to factory default. 
Alright? So basically, you have to fully reset your PlayStation 5 to get rid of this bug. And you're probably thinking, eh, it's okay. I don't really need Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'll just live with the bug. Yeah, haha. <laughs> no. Uh, apparently, one of the bugs in this bug is in your download section. It has a can't install this pack to Call of Duty. You can't delete it. You can't finish the installation. It's just always there, reminding you, yeah, there's a bug in your system. <laughs> so, once I got the, rid of that by doing a full factory reset, that was a lot of fun. I finally figured out the problem with the data packs continually uninstalling. So, this is what you want to do. You want to first, once you get the game installed, the the shitty one level multiplayer teaser installed. It's not really the game, it's just the demo. The, 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 these games now are just demos, they're not really games anymore. You have They're just demos with a voucher to download the game. Once you get that demo installed, and then you get the ridiculously large update installed, they say it's 85 gigs, it's actually 100, it keeps going after 85, and it doesn't stop until it gets to 100. Once you get to like 101, it will finally install. So, I made the mistake of just restarting the, the update when it was like at 95. Just let it keep going, it's going to like 101. Once it gets to like 101, the update will finally finish. So, don't make my mistake, just let it run. Right, but once that giant ass update finally installs, usually takes all day from my internet. Then you want to install the data packs in this order. You want to get the campaign first, okay? Install the campaign data packs first. Campaign, then there's like the campaign spec ops compatibility pack. You do that after the campaign, and then you do spec ops next, right? And once you get Spec Ops, the last Spec Ops pack you should get is the Multiplayer Spec Ops Compatibility Pack, or whatever it's called. And then you want to get the Multiplayer installed last. Once you do this, you're going to be really tempted to install the HD Texture Packs, all five of them, because you're playing this on PlayStation 5 and you want to see it at its absolute best. I know, I tried doing that. Don't do this. That's where the bug is is the HD texture packs, all right? When you install those, that begins uninstalling all of the other packs. Do not install those until Activision comes out with like a patch or an update. They're not going to because they've given up on this game. They're all focused on Black Ops, but it's nice to hope, all right? Maybe they might release an update allowing you to actually enjoy this complete game on PlayStation 5, but since that's probably not going to happen, this is the next best thing. Do not install the HD texture packs, and you should be able to hold on to the complete game. Now, I was concerned that this was due to it going online and doing that checking for update thing. Thankfully, it's not. You can still play this online and not lose your, your data packs. Or they won't uninstall on you intentionally, you know, without your consent. And so I've played this for about a week now after doing this fix. I haven't lost any of the data packs. I've still been able to play the campaign, Spec Ops, and multiplayer online and offline. Um, Warzone is its own thing, so that should work regardless of if you have Modern Warfare or not. But so, hopefully this helps some of you. Hopefully, you can, some of you can actually enjoy this game now. And hopefully, it's unrealistic, but hopefully Activision will update this so that it will finally work on the PlayStation 5 properly. Until then, I hope this fix helps you. If any of you know of any other bugs that you've come across, please mention them down below and get talking with other people who have this game so that if we come across any other bugs or issues, we can fix them together because let's face it, it's been six months, Activision still hasn't fixed this, 
Alright, they're solely focused on the next Call of Duty game. Not this one. So, we're going to have to do it ourselves. Anyway, my name's Chris with 11th Hour Reviews. I hope this fix helps you guys. I really do. That is all.